good morning guys welcome to today welcome to the day by day vlogs newest video girls are working on homeschool they're almost done we're getting ready to go to the barn it's been a very eventful day i went down and worked with penny so i have been working with penny every time i go down so i spend about a half an hour each time i go down with her and i go down three times a day so that should work really well at building our bond um i didn't really love my ride in the arena the other day i want to get her out and i want to go faster and i want to like i want to master her i want to i i just i want to ride her i want to ride her all the time today is the boys day we have to keep up with our boys i feel bad them just sitting there um i feel bad penny just sitting there i feel bad the ponies just sitting there if I can ride her today outside, I will when I get back. If I can't, tomorrow is her day. Well, hello there. You left me a present right at the door. Hello, sweet princess. Hmm, what's with the ears? Are you mad at me? Oh, you're going to be friends? Or no? I'm guessing no. Oh, you want a treat? Good girl. Good girl, I didn't bring a treat for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you have to come for free. Anyway, look at those eyes. Be looking clear and pretty. Yes, okay, I'm giving you lunch. All right, unfortunately, I have to go to the other barn and see our boys. You're gonna meet them this summer. Why are you turning away from me, hey? She's like, do you have treats for me? If you don't have any treats for me, I don't wanna be anything to do with you. She's been excellent, you guys. Whoa. She's been excellent, except for that she doesn't still like the ponies. She's angry with them. And she actually is feeling a little more grouchy today, I think. Um, she's, like, at first, when I would touch her belly, she'd be, like, a little stressed out. But now, like, she would be guarded. She would be guarded every time I would go and touch her belly. Like I told you, we started her on ulcer meds. And I can walk to the back of her now. She doesn't do anything. Like, that doesn't bother her at all. She's fuzzy and warm, though. All of our ponies are fuzzy and warm. Well, hello, kitty cat. Hello. Where's your sister? Hey, look at how cute you are. Look at how cute you are. Oh, what a good boy. Imagine living a life filled with animals and that's all you have to do pretty much in life is just spend time with them, do stuff with them. Yeah, it'd be a fun life. Hey, it's a fun life. You're gonna have to go under the knife though, very soon. In November. In November is your date. Anyway, we're headed to the other barn. I've got the girls. They're already in the car, hopefully. But I wanted to tell you guys, like, long ago I worried that if I got a horse, what would happen when the girls left me? Like, would I be not interested in having a horse anymore? And would I, you know, would it be the end for me? But I'm finding that I prefer to be with Penny by myself. Like, Sam and I come down in the morning at night and I take half an hour. He leaves me and I just spend my time with her. It's just so satisfying and relaxing and I'm excited for a time when the girls grow up now and I can do stuff like I plan to master the trails with this girl and I know a lot of people that I can do that with I'm imagining a whole new experience for me and Penny and pretty Penny anyway let's go see our boys I miss them okay so I know, but we have him as war, his cooler to warm him up. I also fixed, if you guys saw last night's video, you'll know that I needed to fix Finny's girth so that it's good for him. Look at Arena. Oh, what the heck? Come with me. Come with me. No, you, all right, I'll come with you. Look, Tex is matching. Oh, Tex has the same blanket. We, it looks it looks like fins, yeah. Now we can't even tell our horses because they all have similar blankets. Sophie's on the long trek. And, and Chino will be like, oh no, who's she getting? Pick Storm, pick Storm! Storm! <laughs> Storm's taking a fin for a ride. This one's sun is this color. That's funny, they have the same blanket. And Oakley's in purple. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. They're literally like taking Sophie for a ride. Storm, come back. That's sad. That's so sad. Grab a bucket of food, she says to me. 
Like I really want all the horses to come galloping. Oh yeah, they're booking it. Like they're going fast and far. I'm gonna take this time while I'm walking through the mud to tell you guys that the reason I bought Penny was because I fell in love with the Pasofinos. I learned to ride on the Pasofinos. You guys didn't get to see it because when you're riding fast and furious, you can't video it. So when I rode Penny, you guys were like, wow, you actually ride her okay. And it's because I learned to do that at the Pasofino farm. So, yeah, I see this. Oh my. They're like weaving in and out of the of the trees thinking that we're not gonna be able to catch them. Huh. It's like Narnia here though. I'm coming. So, so I bought Penny because I love riding the Pasofinos. They're so smooth and the gait and I feel like I can ride them and it's marvelous. But then I rode Penny and I love riding her. She's so smooth. And then when I went back to the Pasofinos, I was like, what the heck? They're not as smooth as Penny. Penny is a much more fun, Penny is a much easier, not an easier ride. Penny is a much smoother ride, like a much. So all along I thought I wanted a Pasofino because that's what I learned on and that's what gave me this amazing feeling. We're never catching these horses. So, but all along God knew that I needed a Tennessee walking horse. Now I just gotta master her big gait. And I'm gonna do that by the end of this week. By the end of this week, I'm gonna be flying around on her in our outdoor arena. They're no joke, they're not galloping. Yeah, in the big heel. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so, 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 she says, we're going that way. And they're like, they're galloping. So let's go this way. Like they went, they're leading us on a wild goose chase. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look at our path though. God thought we needed this nice walk. No. After an hour and a half. Okay, so I also want to tell you about our trail ride. I hate talking all the time, but there's so much that you guys don't get to see. Like. So the trail ride we did yesterday in the snow was the most challenging trail ride I've ever ridden on in terms of we cantered and galloped most like more than we walked. My horse tried to race the, <laughs> the owner's horse. So the owner told me that she loves it when like a group of riders like us come because she teaches so many beginners <laughs> that she never gets to really do anything. So when she comes with us, we get to do so much. So I loved galloping up hills. I loved, I've learned to love going down hills. Ben, I got your stick. I think I've lost a little bit of weight and I notice it in the saddle, like I notice. Oh. Now we'll go over there. Why'd you leave me this way? Because I thought there was an opening. <laughs> There's no opening. But they ran all the way over here. Well, let's go see if we can spy them. This is the first time he ever ran away from us. Oh, I see them. So we have to walk all the way back there now. Wait, I don't want to go. So, so that was fun. It was really challenging. We cantered a lot through the woods. And I'm talking like this, like trees this close together. So that might be the path right there. And you have to weave in and out of all these trees at a canter. And I did it. I mean, I lived. <laughs> oh my God, horses are bolted. Oh my God. Can we just go home? Can you guys hear it? Did you guys hear it? There were three other horses leading that. They were bolting. I've never heard that. I can see goosebumps actually. It reminds me of our ride last night. I want to do it again. Although my thighs are a little sore. No, my thighs are fine. Let's hide. Let's hide and then jump out at them. You want to do that? There they are. Oh, there they go. Oh my gosh. They are booking it. Let's go. We should have just stayed there. <laughs> we should have just stayed there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like just like booking your back out. <laughs> if they do it, you're on your own, sister. Oh no, you're on your own. Like, I'd love to ride through here. Look how gorgeous. I that know. looks like a snake right there. That one underneath. 
Delicious. That does look like a snake. So at the very end of the ride. I, mean, I don't worry why they're bolting away from us. Why? I call Finn a baby boy. Uh oh. He so just... I said, you know what, Finn? You're a baby boy. <laughs> he likes to be a big boy. So. He's riding all the way down to that end. So the boat. Oh my gosh. So fucking. Oh, well, at least he's going to be tired. So basically. Finn never gets tired. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Don't call Gabby. <laughs> no, we can do it. Our horses are like. They went that way, raced around the arena, oh raced back, raced down to another field, like... Well, they were eating grass. They're lunging one. themselves. So, anyway, at the last part of the, ra of the now trail... Now one's getting in. The last part of the trail, when my hands were so frozen I could hardly... Oh, my hands were so hot. Mine were so frozen. My fingers were still tingly. They hurt. The horse is doing kind of So, at the last end of the trail, I ended up... I ended up going under some branches, which is another scary thing I learned. That if you bend down and lean forward, whoa, you're when we're back. Down, like a slippery or steeper hill, mm -hmm. I leaned back on my my head was resting on my horse's butt because wow. I didn't want to lean forward down the hill. Yeah, mine was almost there a couple times too. That's how like more advanced this ride was. Mm. Anyways, I ended up going underneath some branches, ducked my head, but I'm so tall that I skimmed the the branch and all the snow fell in my face. You're down there. And my glasses were completely covered. So the last like five minutes of the ride, which was still like, we cantered through the woods, around a corner, steep corner, and I was blind. Are you sure? I rode like completely blind because of the snow. All right, let's go that way. They're still bolting. Stay away from me, Finn. <laughs> He's not even near us. Come here. Uh oh, they're look. fighting. <laughs> oh my god. Finn, it's okay. I'll beat that horse up. You come here. Like, exactly. They're going back to the back. They're back. They're back to the seat. You should never run away from us. That, that horse was like mad at them. Oh. Storm still has his shoes because we have a show on Saturday. But yeah, that was quite an adventure. Yeah, like, so they were running and acting like fools, and then another horse got mad and was like, you stop it, and chased them back home. So we should have just stayed at home, and they would have came to us. That was a fun adventure, though. No, it's not. They were bolting. <laughs> they bolted. They were galloping all over God's green earth. And then another horse chased them. Aww. He's like, I'm sorry, Mama. I will never do that to you again. Check his feet because. Two shoes? Does he? Yeah. Oh, good. He was not a good boy. He was a terrible boy. He led Finn on a merry goose chase. He's like, don't tell her. Let her believe that I'm a good boy. I know. He came back for love. He came back for love. And they were getting chased by a horse. Yeah, how are the blankets? They look not too bad. Can you please get the gate for me? Mom? Yes. Chino does not like orange bell boots. He lost both of them. He likes purple. All right. Well, so I'm going to buy him the new one. I have a list. We have to go to the to the tech store. I want to go to to uh, drive a little farther and go to Greenhawk. Okay. But I want the kind that slip on. Apparently, they don't ever come off. The Pasolino lady also told me that from my first ride there a year and a half ago, like four months after I shattered my pelvis. Um, she said that my confidence level on those horses has skyrocketed and then she told me that Sophia's level in the last two rides has skyrocketed. She said that while well, she rode I Sophie ride so much. Sophie learned that her spot in the line is second in command. That's where she does the best. 
and she said that she was so she Sophie rode behind her and she said that there were a few times that Sophie was like can we go faster and Sophie galloped and jumped everything and just had an awesome time uh, did you guys know this is controversial so if you're super religious and you don't believe in this plug your ears but did you know that the uh, that as species we can we can accept love from every single person and the only reason that we don't as people accept love from everyone is that society says it's improper so we don't but that as a species we're completely capable of receiving love from each other equally and it's socialization that has changed it so that we only love members of the opposite sex all right so we are in the bar in the arena and we are ready to ride because if he, he knew that his bit was twisted yeah poor finn's getting the run around run around lately okay. sophie we got to be really careful Thank about what over. we do we have the the proper girth on him today so he should be good um chino be probably energetic because he didn't run around like a lunatic my horse did <laughs> your horse did so, so uh, today this is what the arena looks like we got some cavalettis and a bunch of poles i do not know what they have planned but i'm excited to see you hardly ache on gated horses when you like canter and stuff but because because you don't post but from our ride last night honestly an hour and a half of like cantering and galloping almost non-stop my body be aching me good night boys it's like not too cold out it's nice out but tomorrow's gonna be a lot colder and tomorrow night's gonna be minus nine or something so we don't wanna we're not gonna be here tomorrow so i mean it's it's nice enough for those those are just insulated rain sheets so it's just like a a small thin bit of warmth it's just like this sweater yeah it's like a sweater it's like a sweater they're like but you gave me such good treats give me more go find stormy they love to hang up in that hill now go find Stormy and run away from me and go bold here right? <laughs> <Be old. laughs> they sure do see if you can tell what time of day it is we're in the kitchen sophie's over there making food for miss little miss daisy she's like give me my supper please sit like, Sophie, Sophie, I need my supper. Daisy, sit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Good girl. She's getting really good at that, though. Now that the puppy plays with Molly, Ruby is kind of on the outskirts of the... It's funny how, like, no matter what species you are, three is a crowd. Two is company and three is a crowd. It's okay. We love Mo we love Ruby enough for everybody. Okay, that's right, Ruby. Okay, so we are gonna pick the winner for our merch, and then I'm gonna try and figure out what our other prizes are. I have a prize in the basement. I can't find it. So the first person getting a shirt is Julie at Seven Jarts on Instagram. She's the one that created the images for us, so she deserves a shirt. All right, so I'm gonna pick the winner of the merch, and it is going to be oh Ruby, um, Kimberlick. 12 Kimberlick 12 she says that she wants the fanny pack it would be a perfect treat pouch for us positive reinforcement people that's awesome I think I'm gonna order the treat the fanny pack for myself too because I love a good fanny pack I uh, thank you guys so much for entering this giveaway um Kimberlick make sure you email me your address so I can order it for you um and I need a little bit more time to do the next prize so give me another day maybe two while i go and figure it all out anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful?